I'm Casey McKinnon, and this is a special episode of A Comic Book Orange. Oh, Holy Dark Knight returns Batman in this episode of A Comic Book Orange. We're taking a look at Frank Miller. Frank Miller is a comic book legend. Exploding on the scene in the 80s, we have him to thank for many trends in comics and pop culture. You could not have Ninja Turtles without Elektra, you could not have Samurai Jack without Ronin, and you could not have the modern Batman without The Dark Knight Returns. These days, while his great works like Sin City and 300 are being made into excellent movies, his latest comics, well, haven't been so great. We really can't recommend any of it, though Rudy has a soft spot for DK2, so we're going to recommend some of his earlier works that you may have missed. Why not start where it all began? Daredevil. Marvel's Visionaries collection of Miller's breakout run on the comic is great to read as you watch him grow up as both an artist and a writer. His first few issues show standard comics art for the time, but have these moments showing his future promise. As you read through the volumes, you see him develop the tricks and styles he would come to be known for. For comic book historians and lovers of ninja action, we recommend Frank Miller's Daredevil with four oranges. When we come back, we'll be highlighting more classics from Frank Miller. Boob size. Naked girl. Humongous boobs. He's hot. <laughs> Copious nudity. I had sex with women. Yeah! Nice package. Nice man is like. It's yeah, the sex. Turn down any back alley and Frank Miller stories, and you're sure to find some dames and some action. Boy, that Frank Miller sure is something. While Frank Miller's Dark Knight is rightly considered a classic, some people have missed out on the great series that paved the way to that work. Ronin. In a corrupt and poisoned future, a masterless samurai is reborn to once again battle the demon who killed his master. Frank Miller takes this cool sci-fi premise and not only delivers great action and a story that still seems possible today, but actually develops it into a much deeper plot of intrigue. He also starts developing a skill for dialogue, as line delivery is nicely paced over panels and characters have their own voice. But what really brings it home is the artwork. His love for manga is clearly on display, but it's his ability to take it and push it to something more that is amazing. Ronin is much more than just a practice run for Dark Knight. Simply put, this is a masterpiece, and we give it five oranges. This is blasphemy! This is madness! Madness? This is Frank Miller! While Frank Miller is known as a talented artist, he is better known as a writer, and that writing comes to the forefront when he works with others. His most famous collaboration is the Martha Washington series with Dave Gibbons from Dark Horse. Unfortunately, those are currently out of print, though signs indicate there may be a collected edition in the near future. But Dark Horse also published Miller's work with Jeff Darrow, two giant-sized comics. Big Guy and Rusty the Boy Warrior is the charming tale of a piloted giant robot warrior and his sidekick battling a plague of giant lizards in Tokyo. And Hard Boiled is about a heavily armed tax collector, or accountant, or robot out to collect taxes, or get revenge, or whatever. Both stories, again, have Miller fusing Eastern and Western styles, but in very different ways. In Big Guy, it's on the surface with pop culture elements of Japan, like giant monsters and mecha, placed on an American comics plot, pacing, and character development. Hard Boiled, on the other hand, looks like an American action movie, but is more stylistically Eastern, with a plot that is barely there to give artist Jeff Darrow the ability to go wild with his hyper-detailed art. Darrow has something going on in every inch of these comics. It's a Where's Waldo level of action, but it's all so excellent and never becomes too overwhelming. Big Guy and Hard Boiled both get four oranges. Well, those are our suggestions. Let us know what you think. Go to acomicbookorange.com to submit your own reviews. You can leave feedback or comments for the show at pulpseeker.com. Finally, if you're a creator or publisher who wants us to review your work, send us an email at reviews at acomicbookorange.com. Bye. <laughs>